In this tutorial we're going to learn how to break our results down so that we can get individual analysis for each teacher. Now for this you should really have a column for your teacher code in your spreadsheet like I've got here and this is where it becomes really useful. So we're going to break down our results for teacher ABC. So if we go to the teacher ABC worksheet, um, what I'm going to do is use something called not account if but account ifs which is the same principle just with more conditions to work out how many grades A's, B's and C's the pupils of teacher A, B, C got. So to do that into my functions um, all down to the C's count ifs okay and my first range on my result sheet will be teacher and I only want it to count if the teacher is teacher ABC. I can then add a second range in. So I'm looking for the A's for teacher ABC. So I'll go to grades this time and I'm looking for A's. Click OK. I pop that in the wrong cell. Sometimes this happens. So what you can do is highlight the formula up here, control X to cut, click in the cell where you want it and control V to paste your result. There we go. Now I'm just going to go through there and pop in the absolute cell references so that it'll save me time later. There we go. Now when I auto fill this across those cell references will stay the same. There we go. And all I can do is change what I'm looking for. This time I'm looking for B's. And this time I'm looking for C's. Total C plus. Pop a quick sum function in there. So three pupils got C plus. Out of how many though? One quick way of telling how many students each teacher has is just to use a count if and count how many times their name appears down here. So let's do that. Insert a count if. Let's look at results, the teacher column, and how many times it says A, B, C. There we go. So we've got eight students, three of whom got C+. Plus. So to work out a percentage, it would be how much students divided by total number. Hit the percentage button if you haven't formatted it already. So that's a 38% pass rate. So that's how to break down your... Um, results using count ifs. You could also quite easily do the same thing for predicted and compare the two. Have a go.